And for us as Anabaptists, I never understood this coming in when I saw these people, King James only. It's like, now, wait a minute. One of the key teachings of the Anabaptists was you cannot have a state church. That's wicked, that a state church mm. is automatically corrupt. Well, the King James Bible was a state Bible. It was commissioned by King James. Oh. <laughs> and it was done with his oh, permission, yeah. okay. with his backing, with his money, the state money. And hmm. it was made the official, the only Bible allowed in the English churches. So it was a state Bible. So it's like, hmm. so why would we as Anabaptists latch on to a state Bible, a Bible that's the product of a state church? Now, hmm. again, I use it because it's, it's, like I say, an admirable translation, or I use a modernized version of it. But it's like, I, I don't worship it as the Bible because— if God did give us the Bible that we have it absolute, he wouldn't do it through a state church. I mean, unless he wants us, unless unless we're all wrong as Anabaptists and that God wants a state church, you know, I don't think he would work that way. So it is an odd thing, you know, that Anabaptists well, ought to st step back and like, yeah, well, we... That's, that's, a, that's kind of a good point. Like, yeah, maybe we should kind of, whoa, okay, step back. <laughs> Look at some of the broader context that's going on. Also, uh, when, before we were recording this and we were talking through this episode and things, you'd mentioned, well, it's like also to keep in mind, the Anabaptist movement had been going on for like 90 years before the King James translation even existed. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, it's not even part of our story as a people, it, which it is, is fascinating. Which What would have they read, just out of curiosity? Luther's. Okay, Luther's translation. Interesting. So that's what the Amish use today is is Luther's Bible. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, the Anabaptists. I mean, they were still doing German services, you know, well into the 1800s. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they didn't start using the King James until you know the last half of the 1800s. So it's like this is very new in our movement, and now mm -hmm. we're already worshiping it as the infallible Word of God. And it's like, wait a minute, you know, mm -hmm. our people <laughs> were using Luther's Bible for centuries before we started even using the, the King James.